Uh, how long have I been playing? I think... I think I worked out that I've... The game itself, I think, has been going for about 10 years. And I was in the... Uh, what do you call it? Like, the pre-release beta sort of situation um, originally. Um, so I'm not quite sure how long that is, but I know it should be five or more years at least. However, um, the first two years I would say I played it very excessively, but I was definitely shit. Like I couldn't hit anybody in any match at all. Um, even if they were standing still, I still had issues with hitting them. <laughs> it was dreadful. Um, however, I loved the game. I really did. So it didn't really matter to me that I sucked that bad. And then um, I was working for a couple of years, so I didn't really get to play it much um, for about three years. And, and then towards the end of that, I did do a couple of like really big like Easter holiday weekends where I just spent all my time off playing it. And I actually came up with some pretty good scores during those times. So I kind of did get better. However, I actually find that if I swap and change between a few different games, like if I play Battlefield 2042 and then I play Warzone and then I play PUBG and then Seven Days to Die, my reaction time and my shooting is so much better and when I was playing PUBG exclusively, it was almost as if, like, I, I would actively avoid conflict. Like, I would rather watch somebody run past me than engage with a battle. However, my reaction time is so much better. I don't have as much of a concern about this. Two people landing back there. I didn't see anybody here. But I would, I would have to say that the bulk of my improvement has been in the last 12 months. Um, to the point where I can actually start shooting people when I see them. And uh, I, I always did actually get into top two pretty regularly, actually, even when I wasn't killing, uh, when I wasn't successfully getting a kill. Um, and the funny thing is the creator of PUBG actually says that the whole point of the game is that um, you don't have to kill another player to win at all. Um, you can actually just win by playing as a pacifist the entire way, which I actually do have the pacifist medal as well, um, where I've just like continuously gotten into the top without killing anybody. Hey, and eight times. That's pretty rare. Um, like I can, I could, I could definitely like get some kills now, but for the most part, I would get into probably the top ten top five without actually even killing somebody. Come on. That took a little bit longer than I expected that to hit. I'll take that. I'll take that with me. Um, yeah, I don't... I would assume that there are not many people out there that have the uh, pacifist medal. Um... Oh. He didn't have ammo. Oh, is there ammo here? There is not. Damn it. I'll have to find some ammo for that gun. Yeah, I believe the idea is that if you could get into the top... Top five, I think it is, without having killed anybody, um, you get the pacifist medal. Oh, yeah. I do have a few friends that love playing the hot drop, you know, and um, especially when I wasn't able to get a single kill for years, that was just an absolute nightmare for me because I would drop, die, or drop and be downed and then need them to come and res me and it, it was just like a burden, everybody involved. Um, but I reckon I could probably almost do it now. I could probably at least maybe take on three people, three or four people, take down three or four, and then die, I believe. I will do a hot drop at some point as well, just to test how I'm going, because I'd like to know. It's been a very long time. Hey, nice case. I want to know, is this better than the AK? Because the AK's actually got pretty okay stats. Yeah, it is. Okay. 
for some reason, the AKM has been like pulled up a notch and is quite good lately. We need more ammo for that. Also, you'll find that I uh, rarely ever take certain types of grenades. I like frags. Um, I do not do well with flashbangs, and I definitely do not do well with the uh, flammable cocktails. Oh, yeah. Well, um, you probably would have seen when I had the AKM out that I had a skin for Shroud, and my... Um, my M416 has actually got a Dr. Disrespect skin on it. And so I used to quite enjoy watching them when I was getting ready for work some years ago. And, like, I most certainly stopped watching because I got busy with work and I just didn't have the spare time or the energy to commit the extra time in the mornings. But, um, yeah, I was, I was quite the fan. And those were basically, like, the two guns that I used to run with mostly back then. Um, nowadays I've kind of expanded a little bit because sometimes some maps uh, lock down new guns for like a week or something. I don't know if you guys notice that but sometimes you'll hop on a game and like every room has an ace and a G, what is it, a G3 something C gun and you can't get another type of gun on the whole bloody map except for maybe a shotgun. And I don't know about you but I'm not doing any long range snipes with a goddamn shotgun. I mean, you might be different, you might just be that awesome, but I'm not. Um, so, you know, I get limited with guns and stuff, so I've had to kind of, like, get used to the others. Now, I am just outside of the circle, and I'm very happy with that, because those three games where it was just back-to-back -back running, not cool. Not cool game. Uh, you know, the funny thing is, I actually do like using flashbangs. The only problem is I flashbang myself. <laughs> so it's very not useful for me. I'm also surprised there's nobody around. I am kind of like just still moving slowly through this place because I just don't trust. I do not believe that I'm alone. At all. Just so you know. Like that last match where that, oh, that guy came out of nowhere behind the woods. Where was he? Do I have room for more stuff? I, I do have room to hoard stuff. I always find like when it comes down to the end of the game and I just have everything in my inventory, I sometimes feel like I'm the person that's like stocking up the last person, you know, like if they do take the time to loot me. I know that a lot of people say, oh, you know, when you get into the top 10, uh, you shouldn't be looting. But I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I get into the top 10 and I haven't got a single decent gun and I haven't got a goddamn scope. And I'm trying to get the guy that's on the other side of the circle, and that's kind of impossible. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The um, the the little china dress. Oh, is that a six times? That is. I, you know what? Too much scope is not too, too much scope is not a thing, is it? I don't believe it is. Now there is somebody over there. I have an eight times and a six times scope that's kind of just itching. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go and scratch these scopes and some people. They're over this way somewhere. Come on. Just trying to get closer to where these guys are without getting spotted first. I don't know if they're in this area or if they're further up. But I am slowly working towards the circle. Now that sounded like that was on the other side of these buildings. You sound like you're very close, sir. I'm going to use this energy drink. I've got a lot of them. And at this point I should at least use some of them. So I don't know the gun sounds too well, but to me that sounds like a car. Um, only because of like the single shot. That sounds like two people with cars. 
Can you imagine if these two are just like having a car fight back and forth with each other? Would one of them win? I didn't see anybody go down. Let's see what's around here. Okay, I don't see anybody and I'm just going to move up. Because if they're firing at each other, they may have to still move in. Can't pick it up. There's so much health here. It actually does make sense why uh, there's often times a lot of health still in these places. Like sometimes I come through late game and I'm like, geez, there's nobody picking up health and actually there's just so much that you couldn't carry it all even if you wanted to. Okay, I am now in the circle. And I'm hoping that A, there's nobody that way. And B, maybe I spot the guys that were shooting this way. Not seeing anybody, not seeing any movement. I should probably keep an eye on my side. Let's see. Nobody? No? Okay, let's move up a little bit further. Come on, you gotta run. The amount of times I see a shrub and I literally think it's a person. Um, when I eventually figure out how to do that stream bingo, that's gonna be one of them. Like, how many times did I like stop to shoot a shrub and it was actually just like genuinely a shrub? Uh, that has a door, and that is open. I probably didn't need an 8x scope to see that, but it happened. Uh, let's see what's out here. Alright. Not seeing anybody. 45 still alive, and I'm expecting the two guys that were fighting to at least have one person end up in there. Which gun have I got out? I've got the I've got the six times scope. I wasn't even eight times scoping that door. Okay. Oh jeez. Righto. I, I can see why everybody's stopped fighting. Let's just put my gun away and run for it. I can't imagine anybody's near me out here at all now. No matter what, I do not want it to be that. The circle is coming on me again and I'm not in it because those couple of matches were just a nightmare. No cars? No. That's a shame. But I do have some boosters. Hello. So they are still out here. How interesting. And there's somebody over there too. That's interesting to me. If I see them, I'm going to shoot at them. I'm not saying I'm going to kill them, but I'm not saying I'm not going to try. I'm not worried about that guy. He's too far away. And the interesting thing is, I worked out some time ago, and I don't know if they've changed the mechanics, but the drop used to come directly through the center of the map. So you could always tell if you were perfectly centered. Oh, shit. That's kind of like ahead of me now. I wonder if this is the guy that that guy was shooting at. Okay, let's just get out a gun. Get out a better gun. Where are you? You're hiding too well. Oh shit, you're this way. Where are you? That is an incredibly open field. Do I, ha I have to go through that? No. No, 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 no. Uh, I believe PUBG and Fortnite is a matter of personal preference. Um, for instance, I haven't played Fortnite. I've watched it. I just don't personally get anything out of it. Um, I prefer sort of people in the the game to be like people not kind of characters i feel like that guy's kind of shooting outwards from the barn um yeah 
plus I also never really liked like the additional building mechanic, especially when I had enough problems just shooting people in the first place anyway. Like if I'm not getting any kills, but I have an awesome building, I mean I'm in the wrong game, <laughs> you know. Um, I'd rather be doing that with um, seven days to die. I'm a little bit wary of where that guy is over there, especially since I'm in this goddamn open ass area. Terrible. Um, however, I do have a few friends that play Fortnite quite exclusively, and one of them used to stream. Um, and she was really good at the game. She was really, really good. Um, I'm not quite sure what her handle was. Um, it was Bun something. And um, yeah, I. If I had to watch somebody play, like, I could enjoy that. I could enjoy watching her play. But I think that was also just because I was friends with her, more so than I enjoyed the game. What are you doing? Okay, I'm just going to stand out in the open for a split second. Come on. Okay. There's two people over there. At least this guy's gone. What I did was very stupid, but... It had to happen. And I'm still not in the circle. Oh, goodness. Let's get inside. Hope that nobody's inside. Okay. Just sneak in here for just a hot second and get some, get some boosters going. Where am I going to? Oh. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not the biggest fan of running through a town. Um... As I was explaining earlier, I'm I'm only just getting to the point where I can actually get kills kind of almost every match. And some matches are amazing. Yeah, some matches are just amazing and I get like a stupid amount of kills. But those are rare matches. Um, the average would be like maybe two or three kills at best on average. And so, like, to be running into hot areas where there's so much cover, there's so many buildings people could be inside, shrubs, everything, like, I am severely disadvantaged because I have not played in those zones much. Um, whereas a lot of people that do the hot drops, if you make it out of your hot drop, I believe you actually have a serious advantage in the game. Um, your reaction speed just must be incredible. That, that's how I see it anyway. Um, I know I'm running towards somebody. I, I'm not too concerned about that for some reason. Hello, sir. Too low. Yeah, this is the kind of normal aiming I've got. He's going to get me long before I ever get him. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. How far out of the circle am I? Uh, look, put your gun down and just go for it. If I encounter somebody, I'm pretty much screwed anyway. Oh, that's going pretty far. Oh, Jesus, the guy up on the hill's got a decent... The guy up on the hill's got a decent gun. I don't know if you could hear him. What the hell is that gun? I'm actually a little concerned to run towards him. I'm not worried about this guy. Phoenix, get down. I can't see my screen. Phoenix chose that optimum moment to stretch. Ah, oh, you're you're already over the hill, damn it. Okay, this is horrible. We've got one guy with a massive gun, and we've got this other guy who just ran up before me. You. Okay. If I, if I can't live, at least I can take you out. Ah, oh, I ran out of bullets. No, where is this guy? Oh, come on, come on. Get some healing in you, get your healing. You can walk. Walk it off. Come on. Yes. Okay, now we promptly get into the zone and die, right? That's how it works. Jesus Christ. There's 11 people alive. How big is this circle? He's still alive. What is he shooting with? Does anybody recognize this? Oh, shit. 
Come on. No, no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to run into him. Oh, do I have grenades? <laughs> no. He killed me with a basic gun. Oh, man. Jesus Christ, that was intense. All right. If I'm quick about it, I've got time for one more. Yeah, no, he, um, he, he got me good. <laughs> 